Okay, so I, I, I really, really want some fucking alcohol. Um... Clearly, I was thirsty. Okay. I just had that whole bowl of sweet potatoes. Anyway. Um, okay. So, I don't know why right now. All I can think about is, like, this weird concept of, like, sexual politics. Um... And I'm just going to share this with you guys because, like, I don't know why this is on my mind right now, but it could be. I just called my cousin a faggot. And I was like, bro, like, you're mooching off of me. And he was like, I can do what I want in my life. There's just no way that you're, like, a grown-ass man who's not living on his own, who's not sucking dicks. Like, there's, I don't, with everything that I've learned in life thus far um bro things cost money like if i had it my way right now i would be at the bar getting fucked up like i would for sure go to the twelve thirty club and buy like a whiskey cocktail are you joking like i would be there right now but i don't have the funds No, I just saw an Easter Ray Snapchat that was just so relatable. Um, it was just so fucking... Let's watch it again. Easter Ray said something that I just... Easter Ray is all of us. Here's what she said. I have never been more pregnant than I am right now. Bitch. <laughs> 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 just... <laughs> Issa Rae is all of us. Oh, God. Well, I mean, I don't know how to put this. Like, I can't even describe, like, for every mood, at every point in my, like, <coughs> excuse me, adult, semi-adult lifetime, I just feel like I've watched some Issa Rae content and been like, bitch, yes? Like, <laughs> You know what we can do? Well, I can't even read. I would read the text messages to you, but I can't because, um, I can't because they are on this Pixel phone and, uh, the Pixel phone, I'm recording on the Pixel phone. So we can, we can only do one thing at one point in time. Oh, dear God. Um, I don't really know what to say. Like, I don't really, I guess. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about sexual politics and how I learned about them. Okay, so we can, well, I, one thing I always keep by me, I keep my yearbooks. So here are two yearbooks. The first yearbook is like Oakland School for the Arts. We don't have to look at that, what the year it is, because then I'll start to feel bad about myself. <laughs> But this one is actually so funny. Like, every time I look back at it, it just reminds me of so many things. Um, anyway, so one of them that I think is hilarious. Um, <laughs> our dean was this guy, Mr. Berry. And, um, bro, Miss, Mr. Berry. There was so much shit that happened with Mr. Barry. Just all the tea, but we don't need to go there. Okay, moving along. Um, this is funny. One of them says, a bunch of students pose for fun. What the hell was I wearing? I guess I had a teddy bear. I don't even know. I had like a a hair bob I really don't know what I had 
there was like an alopecia kid weird ass Danny I don't even know bro whatever moving along um I'm trying to there's one particular picture that I'm looking for I just want to explain this to you guys because I feel like people don't understand I literally labeled everybody by the classes that they were in. This is so funny. It like literally says like if the person was like in my cl like which class they were in, I just wrote by their photograph like this person was in dance troupe. <laughs> and then I wrote okay, so I had this twin. We went to like elementary school together, Rio. And I literally called her my twin. She was dating this guy, Justin Martin, who was in this rap group. It was, like, called Go Dave. And um, I, I don't know. I cannot describe the amount of, like, I was like, oh, I come from a very traditional place in the world where people, like, people actually marry their high school sweethearts. They start whole families. They tell their children the story at the weddings. Like, that's the shit that I grew up with. So I just assumed black people were like that. Wake the fuck up, Olivia. <laughs> like, anyway, so I'm this, like, young, naive kid who's, like, looking at Rio. I'm, like, she's, like, my older sister. And she's dating this guy, Justin Martin. And in the book, I literally write, like, Rio's man. <laughs> He's hella cool. This nigga was the worst. Oh, my God. He was, like, a serial cheater. He's done all type of crazy shit. And I remember, like, it was, like, a couple years after he was called. He called, like, everybody a hoe. He was like, this one's a hoe. She's a hoe. Everybody's a hoe. Fuck these bitches. It was just, like, insane. I was just like, wait a minute, sir. So I, like, I when I had Facebook, I, like, unfriended him. I was like, this nigga's weird. Um, anyway. Then we have... Man, there's so many weirdos. Like, everybody's weird when I look back, like... Tiffany Knuckles, who seems to be around. Um, I've seen her in some tech circles with um, with What's-His-Face. I've made other content about black academics, which I guess we could talk about. Here, I will write down some of this stuff um, so that you guys can, so that I will make more content about it. Let me grab my pen, and I'm going to get some more water. There's so much shit to talk about here. Oh, my God. Hold on. Sorry, so let's write this down. The black academics. So we want to talk about um, what's his name? Like Koi. Uh, what is it like the black groups from the Bay? Uh, sorry, so anyway, so I can't remember the name of the group right now. I don't do California shit anymore, but I do realize that some of you guys do want to kind of understand how to navigate California, and I'll just, I'll write the playbook, I guess, because, like, nobody else is going to do it. Um, so yes, I will write this down. Um, maybe, like, navigating the bay, is that, um, navigating the bay, do stuff. Oh, Four Loco, that's his name. I'll make a I'll make a, a video about that. Anyway, um, okay, so now we get to it. Kent Overshone is this guy's name. Now I feel like he's on Broadway now. Like one of all my face they de deactivated all my Facebooks because everybody thinks that I'm Yara Shahidi or Stacy Dash. Like I don't know, so. They think I'm Yara Shahidi, Stacey Dash, or um, who's the girl from the Kanye West Runaway video? Bro, that shit is so funny. Like, they literally always think that's me. Like, she's not me. White guys love to look at me naked, and yes, like, I do look like her. But, 
she's not me, sir. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not like the loser chicks who get on here and we're like, I've never had a boyfriend. I don't do anything. No, it's not me. (laughs) We could talk about Stephen, your lawyer, because I actually found a really funny photograph. Unless I get banned and it gets taken off. Um... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the photo is so funny. I'm totally gonna release this on my Instagram. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so what did I learn from Kent? It's actually not what I learned from Kent because he wasn't in my class. It was this guy, Omar. I wonder if I could find Omar. Um, okay. Omar. Where is Omar? Was he there this year? Guys, I was so cute. Kiana, if you ever watch this, I I saw Kiana and immediately I had to start making content about her because she is me. My little, she's not my protege because I don't even think she knows who I am. But I know everyone in the art community, and um, I loved the way that she did not take a traditional path. It was almost like, because I took a traditional path, but she did not, and I love, fucking love that she likes, st- I wanted to make sure that I, I supported her in whatever way I could by using my influence in my international community to start with her. I mean, I feel like she has her own, not I feel like, she literally does. She has her own story and path that has nothing to do with me. Um, But I I just wanted to kind of like tap into that story and say that I support it. I actually don't have much more to say than that. Um, Anyway, okay, so Omar is this guy. Maybe he was a transfer, and that's why he is not here right now. Um... Oh, yes, there he is. This guy, Omar Carmichael. I remember him. There he is. And the thing about Omar, so we were both in the the dance emphasis, and we'd always talk about sex, even though I wasn't having any sex. Um, but the thing is, like, when gay boys, especially gay black boys in high school start having sex, they have to learn, they learn all of this shit about it in kind of uncomfortable ways. And there's nothing quite like the Bay Area and the queer scene, like, it's very much so, it's out there. Like, it's a whole different level. Because, like, they, he just knew all this shit. He knew things. He was talking about, he taught me about, um... Vagina pH, actually. (laughs) This black gay boy taught me about my own pussy pH, which I thought was so funny. Like, life lessons that I've learned from Omar. He was talking about, he taught me about how when you eat fruit, it makes your pussy taste a different way. All these things. There's just so many life hacks that to this day I still use. Um, And so to, to go back there, that was when that happened to me, when I transferred that's when I learned, like, oh, my God, if you want to learn about sex, you need to go talk to gay men. Gay men are having great sex. Don't get it twisted. They are. Um, your sex life might be bad in whatever way, but go talk to somebody on the queer spectrum because <laughs> they actually have great sex lives. Um, like, everybody's coming. I don't know. Like, you at least have the conversation. Maybe if you don't want to have the sex, okay. But... Maybe start with a conversation. People are having the conversation and people are having great sex lives. So um, anyway, um, where was I going with this? Oh, so I was talking about sexual politics. So sometimes people like to use these like strategies where they're like, I did this and then I did that. I'm not willing to do this with you. I will, it's like gay men do this with each other, I guess, to sort of form this like level of respect within their own community. Now, I have observed this. You can go watch shows like Pose. It seems like Khadija has actually talked about that to kind of like learn a little bit more 
you had to like learn a little bit more about what that means. I don't, like I said, I don't participate in that shit, but I just have learned the sort of like, how do you say it? The like social cues, social interactions, we could say that kind of like lead up to that. And that, um, that like help, is that the way to say this? The social interactions that lead up to the sexual act, I suppose, like if he looks like this, then I will do anal or something like this is I've heard gay men have conversations like this. Um, just being in fashion, right? Being in, um, we could talk about Tati and the fashion shows, but that's for another day. I don't really feel like talking about that right now. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think my point here is that like some straight people just have no idea like what, what sexual politics are, like how people are making certain decisions. And I think especially like I feel bad for like some of the younger generations because they're trying to like watch these like music videos and kind of like decide stuff. And then they're watching these like celebrity couples to sort of understand how to maneuver the sexual marketplace, the dating marketplace, even the marriage marketplace, really. And um, I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, I don't actually think that's a good idea. I think it might be a bad idea, actually. Um, mostly because, like, um, I don't know, some kidology video just came out. I don't, I, still, I love YouTube so much. Ooh, she's hashing things out with FD signifier. Okay, we've got to see this.